Hi, today we're going to talk about the Home tab and we are going to look at some icons that are very important when we need to format our spreadsheets. As you notice in the in previous classes, we worked with different sheets. Okay, Now these sheets can be renamed at any time. If you right click on a sheet, you can find out that you can change the name. Okay. And you can do that with every sheet on your book. Okay? So we have books and we have sheets. Okay? Now you can create as many sheets as you like and rename them depending on the the work that you're doing. Later on, you will learn how to link formulas and cells from different sheets, okay, in the same book. But for now, let's talk about the home tab. Now the Home tab has pretty much the same icons as every single Microsoft Office program, like Word or PowerPoint. Well, we have the Paste, we have the Cut and Copy, we have the Format Painter, okay? We have the Bold, Italic, Underline, we have the Font Type, we have the Font Size, and we can change the size of one pixel at a time. We also have a group for the uh, for organizing the text, either centered, aligned to the top, aligned to the bottom, and on the sides. There's also a group over here where we, where we talk about our text orientation. Indent, wrapping text, merge and center. Okay? So we're going to talk about it just with a very simple example because uh, today's assignment is for you to manage some of the um, some of the format in in your spreadsheets okay so the first thing you need to know is that a spreadsheet is divided into columns and rows columns are letters or combinations of letters if you can see there we have combinations of letters okay and there is a finite number of columns just so you know since we also have a finite number of rows there are many, but it's a finite number. They're not infinite. Now, a cell is the intersection between a column and a row. And it has a name. So on the top left, right on this part, you will see, for example, C1. Now, C1 is a cell. This can also be personalized on the name box. You can change the name and make reference to the cell if you are working with totals or you're, if you're working with subtotals or you're working with a specific number that you need to make reference. Instead of calling C1, you will call it by a personalized name. Now when you select um, cells, they are highlighted. A very important feature in Excel is that you can merge and center those cells. Okay, so let's say we are going to organize um, a spreadsheet or, I don't know, a menu that has five columns. So we select those five and we're going to click on Merge and Center. Now we have one cell okay, that is combined of five different columns only for the first row. Now it's important to understand that the name of this cell will be the very first one you highlighted. So this cell is going to have a reference A1. B1, C1, D1, and E1 do not exist anymore. They are all called A1. Now we can change the size of this cell. Okay. by changing the, the width of each column. We can also change the height of the cell by dragging the number. Okay. So for example, we can type in menu. Okay. And we can format it just like we do with every other program. We can change the size, 
we can also change the alignment okay and make it centered center on both okay and we can also add bold italic or underline okay now each column can still be modified okay you can also add a background to this cell and you can also add borders around it you can have a thick border okay, or you can have the normal border now each cell has different properties later in this course we are going to understand all the property all the properties that a cell has for now let's understand that you can type in numbers and strings a string is a combination or an alphanumeric um, phrase or word it has numbers or letters but you won't be able to make mathematical operations with this string for example, if we have food here and we start writing chicken, soup, um, I don't know, uh, ribs, etc., these are all strings. A string is just a name or a word. I can combine letters and numbers. Okay? So we have price, and in price, the properties of these cells change. Let's say this is the chicken is twenty thousand, the soup is ten thousand, and the ribs are fifteen thousand. Okay. How do you know that you have a string or that you have a number? It's very simple. When you type in a, a number automatically aligns to the right. When you have a string, it automatically aligns to the left. If I have a number and I, and I put a letter, then it will still be considered as a string. So it is important to know if you don't get your data correctly, if you don't get your numbers, you won't be able to do operations. For example, One hundred fifty-two, I don't know meters. You you won't be able to make mathematical operations with a data type like this. So it is important to understand that. Another feature for Excel is the way that you see the numbers. In this case. we have to understand the difference between a decimal place and your thousands place okay in this case depending on your operating system it might change in my case the decimal place for my computer it's the period and my thousands place is the comma so you need to first understand on your system what's the difference. Okay? If you select a set of numbers and you want to change the type of the number, you just right click, go to a section called Format Cells, and this is the category. So you have numbers. You can set the decimal places, you have currency, and in currency you can also add the country, okay? So you can say Spanish, Colombia, okay? And the sample will tell you if the decimal place, it's a period or if it's a comma, okay? 
here we see that this is a uh, this is just 15 pesos if we want to change the number of decimal places in our number we also select the number wanted go to the home tab and look the increased decimal or decreased decimal you can decrease decimals just to have whole numbers Okay. when you have a long string or a long number you can wrap text around it for example uh, let's think about any food um, chicken soup with potatoes in this case the string is too long if you click on wrap text it will automatically change the height of the cell so all the word can fit you can also put more than one line just pressing alt the alt um, key and enter to go to the to, to another line for example chicken soup and then I want to go to a next line with potatoes and automatically uh, changes the height so you can wrap text and it will change the height if you don't want to change the height of this cell you can change the width In this case you take up wrap text and if you change the width you can make it fit. Another way to do this is just double click on the border of your column right over here and you'll get an automatic um, width for your string. Another important thing about Excel is the way you present data. In this case if we were to print this this is what it would come out on your printer you want to make sure that your data is correctly printed you want to show the borders of each of the cells that um, that you want to show in that case you want to select your cells and select from the menu of borders also when you have this view or when you see the print view you will see a dotted line where you see the end of the page meaning that this menu will not fit on your on on a single page in that case you have two options change the width of your columns play with them or go to page layout and change the orientation of your of your sheet okay so in this case, I think that we can actually fit it into one. When you see the dotted line, is that it's going to fit correctly. If you go to print, you will see that you get the, the printing well done. So this is very simple uh, information for today in order to develop your assignment. Okay? Very simple. You can also play with other tools like change the direction and change the orientation of your of your text. Okay. Or or if you want to play with indent, you you want to play with the background, the text color, etc. Basically, this is very simple for for what we need, and you can do your assignment with uh, this explanation.